ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमात फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू मेक एन एलईडी चेजर और सिंपली एन काउंटर सर्किट विद इन द मल्टी सिम द आईसी वी आर यूजिंग इज द सी मॉस इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज द जॉनसन डेकेट काउंटर आईसी सो लेट स्टार्ट अवर सर्किट for it first we need to go to place source click on it and then we need to get our dc power supply now this is our dc power supply after it we need to take our ground you need to connect the negative side of the battery with the ground also reduce the voltage to 5 volts because majority of the cmos are intolerant of 12 volt okay now we need to take the clock pulse so for it we will go for signal voltage sources okay to signal voltage sources and here we will search for our clock signal okay now we will search for cd4017 or just 4017 bd so we will just write 4017 4017 bd so this is 4017 bd so we we can take it out we will press okay okay on the output side we need to connect the leds so we will go we will write here leds so we will get our leds so we can choose our leds orange okay now okay now right click on it and rotate it clockwise and then flip horizontally okay now connect it like that and then after we need to copy it and paste it out like a uh, so 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 leds are there we can connect some more but still okay for us to connect 7 leds so uh, okay now so just 10 and like this okay now we need to connect all the negative sides with one another and then we will connect them to the ground because leds cathode sides are uh, simply uh, we cannot uh, call them as negative sides but the cathode sides must be connected with the ground for best operation so power sources and we, we can take one ground as well okay now we one more thing that we need to connect the clock with like that and we need to connect it like a cp 0 
okay and uh, we don't need this this one okay and cp1 must be connected with the ground okay now we need to run this circuit it can take two to five seconds to run it one more thing that our clock pulse is very much high it is it must not be greater than three hertz and we have mentioned here one kilohertz so yeah because you can see that on the lower bottom right side there is transition point 076 because it is not in real time so even at one kilohertz clock pulse we are getting very slow movement of the LEDs so if it is like very much uh, transition is time step is very much less so you can uh, even drive it with one kilohertz so hopefully you got the concept regarding the johnson's jacket counter ic or 4017 simple led chaser circuit so don't forget to subscribe and thanks for visiting our channel